about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we okay, don't know Okay, round two know. of filming this So I'm going to be showing you these coats Taluli, Taluli's joining me today Um, I'm going to miss all the bits and bobs I'm going to show you It's not thrown there, I've nicely put it there, nothing's been damaged Oh, okay, let's get filming Hello and welcome back to my channel. So um, as you can see, this is a haul. I know it's one of the... I'm sorry but I'm sitting down and I'm out of breath. One second. I need to get to the gym, I'm so unfit. Okay, so this is a haul. Um, I read lots of your feedback and obviously I watch the reactions of the video and this seems to be some of your favourites. Um, and it's also one of my favourite things to film, so that's good. Um, I also wanted to start off by saying that I've had a lot of constructive criticism lately, which has been absolutely amazing, because for those that I don't reply to, I do reply to as many as I can. And when I say try, I mean if I answered um, all the people that contacted me, I would not get any work done. So I do absolutely try, and please know that I do read everything. Oh, that was good, I needed that full breath. Um, and some of you give me some constructive criticism and it really does help me. Like I listen to what, like, um, like improvements you think I should make and I actually really appreciate it because you're making my videos better. So um, they're always welcome. And sometimes I read the odd nasty comment and I actually think, oh yeah, you have a point, I'm going to listen. But I don't interact with you because you're not being very nice to me. So some of you have really good points. Um, and maybe just do it, you don't have to bum lick me but it'd be nice to like chat about it because I'm having some really nice chats with everyone so this is a haul I've actually filmed this for the second time but the good news is I went shopping after I filmed and I've got a few more things to show you which is home stuff so I've got some home stuff to show you um the reason why I put uh, uh, the last vlog Sunday the reason why that was an old vlog from July is because I filmed this and like 50% of it I was out of focus and I thought it was so annoying for you to watch it like that so in a panic the only thing I could do was share some old footage from a video I'd half edited and um it seems that some of you didn't really like me sharing old footage so um I it's a genuine question back what is it about the old footage that you don't like? Because I actually was planning on sharing that with you anyway. Like it was um, like nice footage of me in Paris at home or when it went to Celine Dion. I went away if you want to. I really wanted to share that stuff with you and like my outfits are all in stock. So a genuine question, if I do get behind on work and don't get to share old footage, like I have my can vlog half done, ready to go, it's all about us in can, all about us taking the dogs to France and how we did it. Uh, do you not want to see old footage so leave me in the comment below are you okay with that or do you want me to just scrap it and only deal with rep, like new stuff okay so um just wanted to put that out there so uh this is mainly luxury fashion i have the odd beauty the odd high street and the odd homeware i have shoes i have a bag um it's literally stuff that i've bought online bought in store some things have been given to me um yeah, and it's all like new stuff that I really wanted to show you, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Can you see Tallulah? She's here as well. They all ran in poopies in the garden this morning, so they've had to have a bath. Okay, first thing I want to show you, and all my nails are chipped and my hair's horrible, my having a bad makeup day, and in the cutaways you're going to see that all my hair's different, unless I film new ones. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is this J.W. Anson Pierce bag. This is featured in a lookbook that is hopefully going to be out on Sunday. I really hope that that gets done by Sunday. It's the biggest project I've ever done. It was a real honour for me to be asked by Nessa Porte to do that lookbook video. So many amazing outfits and I've really done it a bit creative, but well, tried and... Um, just something a little bit different, but you can see some of the stuff I've got in this haul, me actually wearing it, so this will be in it. This is the J.W. Anderson PS bag. I've always liked these bags, but never saw one that like got my heart racing, and for me, whenever I make a bag my own and I go for it and say I have to have that bag, it's when like my heart goes, like bags are my hobby, my passion, and my real weakness, and this was the first one I've ever seen that was like, yep, yeah, need that bag. Um, I love it that these aren't as faddy as they was last season. These were everywhere. It's kind of died down a bit, which has made me like it more. Um, when I got my 
oh yeah, I'm in my wardrobe, like it's a new setup, what do you think, let me know. Um, I can actually like grab things that I forgot to bring, which is good. Ignore the box in the back, I don't know what to do with those. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was going to show you my bag. I did a whole video, <laughs> good to Luna. I did a whole video on this one, my Gabrielle backpack. I should probably do up my jeans actually. Um... I nearly bought that in silver and I'm really glad I went for the white and black. I love that monogram, white and black. Um, but ever since I was on the hunt for a silver bag, so this is perfect. I really think silver bags are going to be the, a thing this season. So keep your eye out for a good silver bag. I often get asked so many questions of what is the best bag to buy for around 1000 1500 This is the bag. This is your bag. I don't have any other bag that is around this price point for a thousand pound. High end designer, perfect for the day, perfect for the evening. I'm really loving this 90 strap, like I can hold it. I'm loving holding it like this. I'm loving holding it like a clutch bag. I love just holding it like this, like walking. It's very light, it's very well made. I love this, oh, I need to show you those. Oh, and I've got a new lipstick to show you as well. And my dual rings are in there. Great. So it's got this lilac-y um, grey suede. It's really good quality. One big open space with a flap there that I've been putting my iPhone in. Really impressed by this bag. And you don't... I don't fully appreciate and know if I like something until I've worn it. So that's the great thing about this haul. I have worn everything. So I can really... It's not just, oh, here's my new bag. End of video. I can actually tell you how they, how they are, which is my favourite kind of haul. Um, sorry for the, my asthma's still bad, and it's hot in here, and my jeans are too tight, I need to go to the gym, um, what was I saying, yeah, a lot of questions I've had about this, because I've been wearing this a lot on Instagram, you've already seen this on Instagram, um, I've had a lot of questions of you saying that you like this bag, oh my god, seven minutes, and I've only done one item, um, you like this bag, but does it scratch, I would never say to you, no, it doesn't scratch, make you buy it, um, and, and then you're disappointed. So the answer is, yes, it does scratch. My nails have chipped. They were all nice on Sunday. So where my finger is, is a scratch. Can you see that? And I have another one here. So I have worn this bag about 10, 15 times since I've got it. And when I was filming the lookbook video, everything was piled up in the car and we were all trying to be so careful, but changing outfits all day long, having everything piled up, I think that something must have scratched this. Um, it was the only thing that got a little bit damaged. However, it's just like a little mark. None of the actual colour comes off. And I'm actually, because this is very pristine looking, I'm actually really looking forward to it getting a bit more scratches. I think it's going to add character. It's going to look really distressed. Distressed. It might go a bit more matte. And I'm, I really think this is going to look nice the more over time. So the answer is yes, it does scratch. But I really like the way that it's going. And that's an honest opinion because I could have sent this back um, literally the day I got it, of course. And I've kept it because... I'm loving it. Look how nice it goes with like white and, and knitwear. So nice. And I've got a couple of winter weddings. That's going to be perfect. Stay away from festive bags because you all get in the festive season, but then you're not going to use it all year round. So this is the most festive I would go. Okay, next thing. I'm really going to whiz through these because this is going to be another 40 minute video. I can just tell. Okay, next purchase. I can smell something really bad in, in this room. She's pooed in on my Louis Vuitton bag. I'm going to have to go and sort that out. Okay, the poo's gone. Clearly that's Bambi. I know that's not you, Tallulah. Um, so these boots. This is a bit of an off purchase for me. So happy with them. So I've wanted a pair of Chanel boots like this in forever. You all know that I'm the biggest Chanel fan. Um, I wanted some chunky high heel boots. My friend's got the ones like this with the CC silver cc and i really regretted not getting them every time i'm good and don't buy something it's the biggest regret so i've been going back for the past year trying to find them never done anything similar i went to harrods on the fifth floor like a week two weeks ago i've done a vlog um with me buying these if you want to check that out and um i just saw them in the video and i was like yep yeah, need them went in told me that they'd just been launched that day because they do the ones without that louis vuitton 
No, none in my size, no other store had them. I wanted them even more. Finally ordered a pair and picked them up a couple of days later. Um, and when I say these are comfortable, they are seriously comfortable. I know I say you all the time, it's for people that are new to this video, have a damaged nerve and arthritis in my feet. So when I say something's comfortable and it's a heel that I can wear, it truly is. And because these are um, like rubber, they're so comfortable, I can't recommend them enough. So yeah, you'll see from the photo here, I've been wearing these so much. This looks so great with leather leggings, vinyl le leggings, and my um, Matisse Pichette, Pichette, I can never remember that name, Pichette. Matisse Pochette, Pochette Matisse, Pochette Matisse, I think it's called. I'm not the biggest Louis Vuitton guru, um, but love them two together. I love it that I got both black. Uh, what was I going to tell you else about that bag? That's it, I think. The ones that come without this, they are really nice, but um, to me they look a bit high street, and I'm not quite up there yet to be spending a thousand pounds because these are one thousand one hundred and forty on a pair of boots that look high street, I'm not quite there yet, so I'm really happy with these ones. Wasn't sure on the painting, because I'm not the biggest painting fan, but I've been wearing them with vinyl leggings, as you can see here, um, and vinyl leather skirts, and I really love that whole like vinyl look, so really, really loving those. They come in silver as well. But yeah, you've been asking me if they're comfortable. Sizing runs small, because there's no stretch, so I went up half a size. Next are my glasses. I've wanted a pair of new sunglasses in forever, um, but I really struggle because I hate this part of my face. I've got like a pillow, rectangle, rounded face. I've not got the best mouth, lips or teeth, as you like to keep telling me. Um, so I struggled to buy glasses and I love these. I was a bit worried about the pink lens, but when I was wearing them, the amount of times I said to Paris, oh my god, look at the sky today, all oh, the clouds are pink. And he'd say, I can't see it, I can't see it. And then I'd take off the glasses and realise it's the pink lens and it just made everything pink, it made me feel like happy. And it's got these pearl, these pearl arms, so they're really, really nice, I really, really love them. And I think they're quite a nice sunglass for winter. Um, I'm just going to pick things up, like, as they're here. Funniest story ever with this jumper, so I uh, bought this for for obvious reasons. This is from And Other Stories. I often say And Other Stories, which I'm really sorry about. It's just like blurts out. I don't know why. So I saw this in the King's Road store and um, obviously I got it because of Paris, but they've got like a bit of a Paris theme going on. And they had a t-shirt that was there with me, a, like a robot goat lasering at a unicorn saying Paris on tour. Could you get any more ideal for me in Paris? It's like he's the goat, because he, he literally is like a strange goat, lasering at me because I'm annoying him and I'm the unicorn and it's all about Paris on tour, which is what we say about him all the time. So I went, I thought, I'm not going to buy everything. Blatantly went home and ordered so much stuff. I think it's going to come today, actually. I'll show you that in another haul. Um, but I didn't get it, but I went home and told Paris about it. The next day, he was so sweet, he said to me, Oh, I went to um, I went to go and find your laser goat t-shirt and they didn't have it. Are you sure you got the right place and I, uh, on King's Road? I said, yeah, yeah, definitely there. Like you didn't, you, maybe you didn't see it. He said, no, no, no. I asked them um, and they didn't have it. So um, no, no. He said, no, I definitely went. We'll just go to Brandy Mayville in the morning together. And I said, it's not Brandy Mayville. It's other stories. I said, please don't say you went into Brandy Mayville and asked for a laser goat, laser and a unicorn, saying so Paris on tour, we were laughing so much. So anyway, we've ordered that and it's come in and it's like edgy and boyish, it's lovely. So this, I've worn on my Insta stories again. It's really like structured and big, I got a large. It's quite oversized, it's really thick, really nice wool, really, really like that. I'm going to wear that a lot and it's obviously special to me because it says Paris. Um, next thing I have, I'm not going to try these on because I've worn them all over my Insta stories. I normally share things there first, so make sure you're following me on there. I have take, taken plenty of pictures, so I'll put them up. I'm not one for dupes, um, but there's a jumper I want like this, which I'll leave below, that's £400. And I was a bit unsure how I would feel about wearing a knitted off-the-shoulder jumper because it's all nice to look at and wear, but is it realistic? Because my, my shoulder's going to be cold. Is it going to be too hot or too warm? Plus it's cropped. I don't really do cropped, not on my age. 
with my rectangle torso. So I found this dupe and um, where's it from? Chicwish. Um, it was so hard to navigate that website so I'll leave the exact link below. Comes in cream as well. Loving this with um, high waisted skirts and jeans. So it's made me, it's like a really good test for me to see if I'm going to buy the actual designer one. So I wore it with this skirt, I haven't put that on the hanger right. It's got a really nice zip, red velvet lining. This is a working belt. This together, as you can see in the photo, looks so nice together. So I love having this. It's actually really nice and soft. It's quite good quality for the price. Um, shipping's a bit off. It took like five to six days, but I didn't pay any customs or duties. That's something you always ask me. So this skirt, um, love anything leather. I love leather skirts and if I see a good one I get it and my mission in life is to find good leather pieces, leggings, trousers, which I'll get to later, and skirts that aren't a thousand pound. This is an amazing buy. This is like 325. It comes very small. I bought a 38 and it, it feels like a 36. So if there's a 40, I could easily be a 40 and if it's a bit small you can bring it in with this belt it does I'd say go a size up um, but I've got a 38 and I need to lose a couple of pounds anyway um, but that's such a good buy I'll leave directly a link below one almost identical that's 200 pound less so I did try and find another one of them um, this is also from Chicwish you'll see from my uh, blog where I showed my bathroom I wore the cream version of this I had a medium and large loved it so much that I got the pink. They only had size small left. I love oversized knitwear but I just love this so much I thought I'd give this more a try and it's actually really nice. It's a nice change for me to actually have something fitted and, and like a little bit cropped and it looked really great with a high-waisted skirt as you can see here and I actually layered it with this and I really liked it. It looked great. Um, it reminds me of like I love Mr Mittens and Mum Loves I think it's called. Um, but like a third of the price and they're actually very good quality so I'm really impressed with those mm, what am I telling you now I guess I'm going to show you what's next which is this so this got sent to me in the week how lovely for a present when it comes to perfumes I, I like to stick to my to my perfumes that I know and recently, oh I can smell it already, recently I've fallen in love with the Givenchy Forbidden, which I can never say in French, you would have thought my French would be better by now, um, love it. And then I went to the Tiffany launch and I love the new Tiffany fragrance, so I've bought two new fragrances on this year, which is more than enough for me. Then this come through. I've never had a Gucci perfume before, and when I opened it, look at that, how beautiful is that? If I ever was going to design a perfume, this would be the bottle. Not that I'm ever going to have a perfume of my own, but look at this beautiful nude bottle. And, oh, it's just incredible. It's exclusive to Harrods, so if you're around Harrods, go and smell it. It's so amazing. I love these kind of powdery, almost like masculine powdery smells, like suede smells. Oh, it's, I can't even, it's amazing. Absolutely love it. It's definitely going to be a new perfume of mine. So I got that scent from Gucci, lovely surprise. And in here I put in my lipstick and nail polish because I know that you always ask me and I always forget. So nail polish is the OPI Infinity Stain Neutral, it's one of my absolute favourites and that Infinity really does work. Lipstick I have, I'm going to just top this up because um, I've got Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And then this new Giorgio Armani 200. I love Giorgio Armani lipsticks. So got that on, it's really nourishing. And then my highlighter, I have on this Le Mer new illuminating highlighter. The this is like a weapon. It's so heavy, it's like pure metal. What fluff in my jumper. Um and I'll be honest with you, I did oh gosh, no! I dropped this yesterday and it's come loose but it's still intact that shows that it's a good quality powder but it is cracked in the middle so I'm going to have to be careful of that that's really gutty and I hate it when that happens um, so I did look at it and think mm, can I use that? is it a blusher? is it a highlighter? I don't want pink highlighter it's amazing like I have a bit on today it's amazing I'm going to put it on every single time I do my makeup 
I love the smell of Le Mer. It's one of my favourite beauty products of all time. The skincare renewal oil, I swear by. And the blusher, the bronzer, I swear by. It gives you like a photo airbrushed finish. I don't know what that was. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to get on with some. No, I'll do the home stuff last. Um, oh, this is an exciting thing to show you. So, I'm not sure... One second, I'm going to be back. I'm not sure how many of you know about this. I'm sure you do. It's the Touche LA by Morgan Stewart Sportswear. How many of you have seen this on Instagram? I don't know why I asked those questions because no one's here. These look like toddler trousers, don't they? So I wanted these. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have fluff in my lipstick. I wanted these when they first come out. So went to go and buy them and just wasn't prepared to pay shipping and customs for a sports outfit Ugh. and the sizing really wasn't helpful on that website I didn't know whether to order small, medium, I knew it was going to be wrong then I'd have to spend at least £100 shipping and it just wasn't worth it so I gave up then I discovered it on Park 10 Fashion Park 10 Fashion is um, a British, British, British website that um, focuses on brands from LA, Australia, right up my street because I hate paying those custom charges because they're mid, like um, in between designer and high street so you're already paying like a couple of hundred pounds for a dress I don't want to pay another hundred pound in shipping and customs and then I don't, you know, it's just okay, like it's not worth it so I'm always looking for websites in England so this is a new one, you definitely check them out they're brand new, they're getting more and more brands as it goes on and as far as I know they're the only people that shock, uh, stock Park 10 Fashion so I was able to get this next day and um, if it's wrong the size then I can just send it straight back and get another one so these are a medium to large, they fit me absolutely perfectly I've tested them out, I'm doing the lunges Okay, I'm not very sporty. I literally haven't been to the gym since 2015 when I got married, but I am going back and I can't stand wearing uh, fitness stuff that like falls down when I'm doing lunges. So past the lunge, the lunge test, if I get another one of these, I'm going to go for small. So they do, they're a bit tighter, but I honestly think small or medium if you're my size is perfectly fine. Either or size is great. They're really thick and they've got the band here. They come in all sorts of colours and I'm going to order the baby blue top of this or maybe a pink top and like mix and match. And um, I just wanted a nice, some nice sportswear because I need to get back into the gym and I need to be able to throw like a leather jacket or I'm going to wear that with my pink acne coat as you can see in the cutaway where I can just throw that on and run errands or even go to a meeting if I really want to and it looks nice. The top, I definitely had to go to for medium and large. The small, I could have got away with, but as you've seen on Morgan Stewart, they do come kind of low. I feel a bit conscious to wear them in, in um, that low. So I went for the medium and large, and it's absolutely fine. But they are kind of like generic sizing, so you can't really go wrong. Um, I think I'm definitely going to order another set in another colour. Give me some, like, inspo to go to the gym. Parks in Fashion is... Where I got this from, I quickly showed. I've uh, got this to show you. This is what I wore in my Monaco vlog. This is one of my favourite dresses because you can wear it in like the Maldives on the beach or wherever you are on the beach, and with flip flops, or you can wear it with over the knee boots and a coat for the winter. I really, really love it. It's so it's got that skirt that goes down at the back and up at the front, which is very flattering. It's very comfortable. One of my all time favourite dresses. I think they have one left. But the new season, Misa, is coming in, so they always do shapes like this. Definitely check it out. Um, it's an amazing dress. And I know so many of you loved this dress on my Instagram. I'm saving this for a wedding that I have. This is a Thurley dress, again, from um, Australia. I was so tempted to buy it, but with the, the how, how much it was on top of shipping and customs, it ended up being too expensive, so I was over the moon when... I saw that they stocked this and the new Thurley is out of this world so make sure you give them a follow on Instagram or check out the website um, I got sent this t-shirt by Vesta Collective it's Girl Empower and this is um, for a charity let me get this right oh this way Tony Garn Foundation so this was a collaboration that they did with Vestia Collective and they did a party which I was really upset I couldn't go to um, but I'll definitely be wearing that um, 
and hopefully you can still, I'll try and find the link if you can buy these or donate to the charity. Um, got some lovely bits from Fig Leaves. I love wearing silk and cashmere, like I spend so much time at home. For me, like investing in my loungewear is like a nice little treat. It's what I really like to spoil myself in. And if it's ever my birthday or Christmas, I always ask my family for anything like... Um, like soft or cosy so I got a black um, silk pyjama set with white piping it's so nice I normally just wear these around the house at the weekend it's just so comfortable and cosy and I think that they make really nice presents I love the quality of fig leaves and I have the most amazing silk robe with um, like black lace on the hem it's so lovely I love wearing this it just feels so luxury and and soft I really look forward to the weekend to wearing that and I also got this long cashmere robe black cashmere is actually really hard to find um, and for the price this was the best one that I found so I'm loving this this is like my posh robe I have like my big fluffy ones and then that's going to be my nice one and then I also got this I get really hot in the night and this is actually what I sleep in all the time. I have so many of these slips and I just love this oyster grey colour. I just think the quality is really good and it's a really good price point. So hopefully you can check that out and find something, especially for Christmas presents. Um, I'll show you that last because she's sleeping on it. So I popped in next on Sunday after I was filming. Me and my friend Fee, we did a bit of like Christmas shopping, home shopping. And I found these, I've only bought you one of each. So these are marble mugs. Can you see that? No, you can't, can you? So these are marble mugs. As you can see, they were £3.50. I have marble mugs with copper around the side and then ones exactly like this. And I get asked every day on Insta Stories, where are they from, where are they from? They're sold out, they're so old I can't even link them, so I've made it a mission to find some, and these are actually nicer than the ones I have, and they're cheaper than all the other ones I had. So at £3.50, and then I also, I couldn't resist, and I got home and realised there's only four, so I need to get another one of these, because we normally have eight people for dinner when we have. So for £35, I got a whole marble um, crockery set, and the plates and the saucer and the bowls are perfect sizing. I just think that's such a good price for a crockery, crockery set. Crockery, crockery. It says they can go in the microwave as well. So I've got those. I'm going to take them to my flat. And then I got a bit carried away. And I bought these. I bought six of these. How cute are these when you have... It reminds me of when I go to the pub. That if we have people around for dinner, I'm going to put the chips in there. Like, not cook them like that. I'm actually going to serve them like that. Or like for Christmas Day, I'm going to put the roast potatoes in there. Or like vegetables. I just thought it was a really nice like touch. And they were only £5. And then I just went all out and bought this as well. I actually bought a pink washing basket and a new muffin bucket. But I thought that was really like not cool to show you. Last thing. Oh, no, no, no. I've got all the coats. Sorry, Lily. Last thing I'm going to show you is my Ganny jumper. I know I've showed you this in one of my hauls before. But... Just in case you missed it, it's been one of my favourite things that I've bought this year. I love the Ganny jumpers, but this one was a little bit special because it has the backless top. I wear a racer lace back bra on the back because I'm too old, too droopy to be going out with my double D's and no bra. So a tip that I have is wear a racer back bra. I'll link the two below that I have. Um, I love the colour, it's so soft and I think it's really nice when you want to go out in the evening, like maybe to a bar and you want to be a bit sexy but you want to be casual and you want to be warm. Can't recommend this enough and I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's a nice like day to evening look and because it's good quality you can wear it all throughout the winter and again next year because Ganny repeat these jumpers every season. Um, you want to go in the pile? So, uh, I told you this would be long, but when I do these hauls, I have so much to show you. Oh, this is another jumper. I'm not sure if I showed you this before. It's, um, like, one from Revolve. I really, really love it, and I have the dress to match as well. Okay, so, coats. I have the Stella McCartney Camel Bryce Coat. These coats, Stella McCartney ones, they are all from Farfetched. I was a little bit, um, curious... 
to how far-fetched delivery is when you order lots of things at the same time because as you know far-fetched is um, stores all like internationally and it gets shipped from the store these were all from separate places but they all arrived within two days all at the same time in different boxes but all at the same time so it was actually quite convenient this was the first coat that I got I have worn this on my blog with like an all black look, one of my favourite looks of all time, um, just a classic Claire look and this is all about um, the best leather leggings on the market so I'll leave the link below to that. I've hunted down all the best leather leggings, vinyl, leggings, trousers, all under a thousand pound, like literally some are 200 pound in real leather and amazing, like little things like zips at the side so you can have them skinny or over your heels. Um, I've linked them all below in that blog post and you can see how I've worn it. So I was looking for a structured black formal coat. I have my black acne one, which is great, absolutely love it, I'm always going to love that. But it gets a bit hot sometimes and I wanted something a bit more formal. I loved this and was trying to find one on the high street last year. Couldn't find one, waited for the sow, none of the like classic colours go in the sow. Um, so this year I was, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy it. There's something about Stella McCartney ready to wear that is just, mm, like the fit, the cut, I love that there's no lapels, everything I have that's black is covered in Tallulah, um, but I just roll that off. So the length is perfect, the fit feels really, really good, and in terms of a designer coat, this is actually a very good price point, because I think it's £900, which is actually very, very good. I then got this one, which is called the Edith Coat. Um, I think this is my favourite actually. I've also done a whole blog post on this and how like the story behind the navy coat and all style tips and everything like that. So what I show you on my blog is completely different to what I'm showing you here. It's more like talking about the fashion side of things. So this is the Edith coat. It's double breasted. I really love how it is when it's open um, and I also love how it is when it's done up. I love it with the collar. I couldn't decide if I should get this in black or navy. I ended up going with the navy because Paris's mum, it's all on the blog, Paris's mum has a coat exactly like this and I always said I wanted one the same so I went with sticking to the one that she's got and I got this one and that's why I got the black one in the bra style. I then had a voucher for Farfetched and I got this one because I loved the black one so much I just went for the camel version so I had a lighter version which is how I always buy my designer bags, I always buy black first then a neutral colour. So, because if, if I love it so much, I want one for each occasion. So, can't recommend them coats enough. It's actually shameful how many coats I have this this season, but you know, I can be quite compulsive. Last thing I'm going to be showing you for this mega long haul is my Baby Pink Acne Studios coat. I love this coat. This is. Um, it's more like a duster, it's very thin, it's very light, it's very soft. It's the same price point as the Stella McCartney coats. Um, I love how oversized it is. It's got the um, pockets, that's the word I was looking for. And it's nothing like I, I've got in my wardrobe. I love how it is at the back, like it has that like really oversized look. It, I love baby pink and denim. I love baby pink and all black. I love baby pink and, and red. So um, this is just one of my faves and I wore it all weekend and it's so warm where it's good quality but really, really light. So when you're going in and out the shops, this is the kind of coat you've got to wear, which is the same as the Stella one, so you're not too hot inside. So that's my, I'm going to be wearing this a lot. This is included in my Net Porte lookbook, which is going to be out on Sunday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Finally, I have the Charlotte Simone giveaway. Okay. He's going to be back in like two minutes. Okay, so. let me finish. I'm picking a winner for the scarf. Okay. So, um... Did I win? No. Bye. Bye. So, um, I have a sofa and a mirror. Best mirror in the world waiting to see it. You're going to die. You're absolutely going to die. Um, Paris is outside doing the gardening and they came and they were like, Oi, we've got a delivery! Thinking that he's the gardener and then he pretended to be the gardener. Hilarious. So... Let's get back to the winner. Let me just start again. So here's all the comments. There's a lot. So thanks to everyone for entering for this. Oh god. 
I just want to make sure they're all up, otherwise it's not going to be fair. Okay, that's all. So can you see the comments? I'm just going to scroll. And this person, that one with the emoji, who is it? Marley Rowland. So Marley Rowland, can you see Marley Rowland there? Mm. Marley Rowland, you are the winner of the Charlotte Simone scarf. That's click on, click on her. So your account's private, so um, <clears throat> there she is, she's there. So um, if there's another way that you can think of that I can do this more fair, please let me know. But as, I mean, am I the worst blogger ever announcing the winner, but I couldn't think of any other way to do it. So please contact me and then I can get your address and send it to you. So um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch out for my video on Sunday. Don't forget to watch, to tell me what you think about me showing old footage. Um, don't forget to check out Park Tin Fashion. I think you're going to love it. If you love my channel, my style, you're going to definitely love it. And they're definitely one to watch because they're new and they're growing. Um, oh, Tulu is literally in all of my clothes. She's so cute. Um, so please uh, contact me so I can send you out your scarf and I am going to be doing a huge giveaway when I get to 50,000 uh, pounds, 50,000 pounds, 50,000 followers on uh, YouTube because I just want to say thank you for all the support and I'm really getting into doing the giveaways because I love just getting double of the things I love like I have one of these, I have um, the Claudia Schiffer makeup I actually gave it to my mum, which I'm going to put on the end of this video I really wanted to keep it but I know that she really wanted it so I'm going to pop that at the end of this video um, I'm speaking way too much, so thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Foundation. So what's the blusher? That is that the blusher? Or that? That's a bronzer, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I've given my mum the other one. I just had to teach her what this one is. So what is that? A highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lip tint. It's, it's actually cheek tint. That's a bronzer. Yeah, that's an eye palette. That's the puffer. Puffer? Um, powder. Yeah, what's this say? This is like translucent, translucent powder. So what do you do with it? Like to set your makeup. What do you mean set your makeup? Set, when you put your foundation on and everything, you set with powder. How, how, what do you mean? You just put a bit on a brush. What, you put your foundation on? Yeah, and, then you, and your blusher, and then you lightly put the powder on. What? Yeah. Oh. And my mum just bought these round because I have a friend around. We can have a girl's night. So what's that? I think that's a cover-up. Oh no, it's creamy eyeshadow, that's really nice. It's too nice to touch. Yeah, I know. If I just leave it on my dressing table, then people will come and go, Oh, what's that? It's just something that I had earlier. What people are going to come round? <laughs> you? <laughs>